morning, John. How are you doing today? I'm good, Roger. And how about yourself? Oh, I'm pretty good. Nice weather we've been having lately, wouldn't you say? Yeah, can't hardly complain for this time of year, but I'm sure the cold will arrive soon enough. How's work been going? Well, it's going about as well as expected. Been having a little trouble with the third shift, but well, that's just the way it goes. Got to keep the nose to the grindstone. Yeah, I hear you there. Lots of bills to pay. I'll probably miss church a lot this year, but God forgives. Am I right? Looks like I'd better get to my seat. Sounds like things are about to start. Sooner started, sooner done. And I've got a lot to do today. There. Kids all in bed. Finally. The days are either getting shorter, or we're just too busy anymore. I'm always tired. Yeah. I know what you mean. Five. Sometimes six days of work. School stuff to attend. And then our one day off a week we spend sitting in church all morning. I've been thinking, you know, the kids are baptized. And to tell you the truth, I'm just not getting that much from the sermons anymore. What do you think about taking a break from church for a while? I've been thinking the same thing lately. I mean, it's a nice place and all. And most of the people are friendly. But it's just starting to seem like a waste of time. From the time we get the kids ready until we get home. It takes up the whole morning, and we could use that time for some family outings instead. I agree. It was kind of fun, and even interesting at first. But it seems like the same thing over and over. All we hear is Jesus did this. Jesus did that. I mean, just how much Jesus does a person need every single Sunday morning. Tell you what, let's just take the kids to the park tomorrow morning instead. Being out in nature is just the same as being in church. Right? The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. For God shall bring every work into judgment, with every secret thing, whether it be good, or whether it be evil. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Afterward came also the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon every one that is proud and lofty, and upon every one that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, 
and in thy name done many wonderful works. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man.